Welcome to another Digital Anarchy tutorial. I'm Jim Tierney, President of Digital Anarchy. And in this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to create a graphic novel using Photoshop's built-in tools and the plugins from Digital Anarchy. This is an introduction to the technique showing what we'll be doing without going into that much detail. In later segments, we'll go in-depth and show exactly how we created each portion of the effect. So let's get into it. There are a couple ways of approaching creating this effect. You can shoot everything all at once, taking your talent or model out to the location, shooting it as a single image, and then cartooning it. Or you can shoot everything separately, cartoon them, and then composite them together. For a couple reasons, I prefer the latter approach, shooting everything separately. First off, getting the talent and location together can be pretty difficult. You may want to shoot in the desert and live in Seattle. Secondly, the background and foreground usually work a lot better with different settings. The settings you're going to use on the foreground subject is going to have a lot more detail than probably what you want in the background. So having them separate gives you a lot more flexibility. So this is the method that we'll discuss in these tutorials, shooting everything separately. As mentioned, this is an overview, so we're not going to go into every last detail. I'll show you what the different pieces are, how they fit together, and leave the in-depth details for later segments. So let's talk about the main subject. In this case, it's a pixie that's in a fighting mood. She's shot against a green screen, and I can switch over to the original photo and show you exactly what that looked like at the start. And so you can see she shot against the green screen. We've used Primat and Photoshop's tools to create a mask, which you can see here. We've then taken that and dropped it into our main composition, where we're going to combine her with the final background. Now, of course, you don't need to use Primat. Uh, you can use any masking tool that's available to you. Certainly, Photoshop has the extract command. There's other plugins like Mass Pro from On One software. All of these are good solutions. You don't necessarily need to have a green screen. For example, you might want to shoot against white and then use Mass Pro from On One to pull the key. But you can use whatever method works for you. One thing that does work to our advantage is that since we're going to be cartooning this, the mask doesn't have to be as perfect as it normally would have to be. Tune it and the process of cartooning will hide some mass flaws. So that makes things a little bit easier for us. But regardless of whatever method you use to create the mask, the point is that we get our subject masked out and on a separate layer in Photoshop. So you can see I've got my pixie here and she's floating on her own little layer and we can move her around however we see fit. And so we can now come in and apply Tunit to her. We'll go down to Digital Anarchy, go to Tunit. I'll bring up my Tunit interface. And just to make things easier, I already have a preset for this. So we'll select the Tutorial Foreground. And I'll give my Pixie the right shading and outlines. And we can go ahead and apply that. And so the preset gives us a pretty good render. Now in other segments of this tutorial, we will go in depth as to what all those settings do and why we chose specific settings for that preset. But since this is just an overview, we're gonna kind of skip that part and just discuss the other pieces. And so that brings us to the background, which is our forest scene here. We have the pixie here guarding this path. And in this case, I've used an image from iStock Photo. 